Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Um, I have a new toy and I thought I would unbox it with you guys. This is not for the big rig over there that I call her. This is for my computer audio system and I have not shown you guys what I have done since I moved to Seattle. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy and show you my computer audio system. So I came across a product from The Music Room. Some of you guys may know The Music Room is a uh, aftermarket website. I think it's run by PS Audio, where they take in stuff that people traded in on PS Audio uh, products, and they give you a credit towards, you know, your old products towards the new PS Audio products. So I came across a chain light speed line conditioner, and this thing's actually prettier in person than I thought. So this has digital to analog, um, isolated, uh, I think the digital's isolated from the analog, uh, has the inputs for all the power. And this is the CLS 309. This thing's really good looking. I needed something that was small, uh, that fits on the computer rack. So I'm gonna go over and show you guys what I'm gonna be replacing this with on what's over there, which is total crap. So bear with me if I get my fingers in the way here. Okay, so we have, um, this is my computer audio system. It took me five months to show you guys this since I moved in because the desk was back ordered for five months and miraculously it actually fit like custom um, my components. So what I have here is I have a PS Audio um, a direct stream, oh no, this is a direct stream. What is this? This is the um, gain cell, stellar gain cell DA, uh, DAC and preamp. Um, and then I have the amplifier to go with it. Okay, that's the uh, the Stellar S300. That's, I think, I don't know the specs on that. Like, I think it's 200 watts by two and four ohm and 150 watts into one, something like, or 150 watts into eight ohm. It definitely changes based on the speakers, but these are eight ohm anyway, they're not four ohm. Okay, so anyway, we have the uh, amplifier, uh, I'm sorry, the preamp DAC and the amplifier. And the, look how they fit. It was almost like it was custom made. And I'm just doing a, a MacBook, uh, a MacBook Pro, an older one for iTunes. And uh, and then I'm, you know, just, bur this is basically just, a, it's a little overkill. It's a secondary system, but I use it to burn in all my music uh, using this external um, uh, optical drive with a USB, keep, keep it away from the power supplies and the noise of the computer. I burn my CDs in and those go into my iPhone so I can use my Dragonfly Cobalt and Kemper cable, um, Axios cable with my Sennheiser HD 600s. It's a pretty nice little portable setup. Um, and, then, and then these are the B&Ws, um, I think they're the 302s. They have the Matrix, the Matrix design in the back. I don't know if I, I can, don't think I can show you guys. Let me see if I can catch it. But it has the, um, ah, there it goes. You can see it has the, uh, like the grid, uh, the diffusion. It almost looks like uh, when you see a diffusion panel on the wall with the wood that has the blocks that come in and out, it's built like that. These things sound really good for the money. I think they were 300 bucks. But um, oh, I'm also using uh, um, the uh, Kimber Select USB. Um, that I did the unboxing for back in Vegas. I finally got this bad boy out and burned in and I'm using it. It's really nice. And then I'm using, uh, uh, I know it could be cleaner down here, but it is a computer after all. And then the, these uh, cables you see down there, actually I have um, uh, snake skin over them um, from the factory. Those are Kimber Cable 12VS. And they're bi-wireable, but I've got them done single run into these. So let me see if I can take this grill off for you. So these are the speakers, really cool. And then, uh, yeah, so basically what I am replacing uh, is this crappy Furman little Merit series um, M8. When I opened it up inside, it literally, all it is, is um, <laughs> a power strip, you know, with like one little capacitor on there in case of a surge. There's no filtering, no isolation, it's complete crap. So. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna plug this bad boy in and then I'm gonna run her in, get her warmed up, see how it sounds. But again, this is really just to isolate um, the digital from the analog and hopefully get a get a less noise when I'm importing in CDs. 
and uh, we'll see how she works. But again, this was from the music room, secondhand, but it's you know half the price new. I think this was 700 retail. And uh, the music room has a good reputation with taking secondhand stuff and testing it before you buy it. So I'm gonna give her a try. The only downside is I really wish this didn't have a captive cord, but it is a nice, a nice thick, you know, cord it has a nice fuse. I can even upgrade that to a ceramic if I want. But in uh, a little overkill for the computer. But I think I think I got like like five grand in, invested in this. But definitely worth it for having my portable portable music and for running music quieter at night after ten o'clock for quiet hours around here. Okay. And as usual, there's the view before I go. It is raining out, of course. Seattle in February. It's going to be raining. But uh, I love the view nonetheless and love the rain, especially coming from Vegas where there hadn't been rain for 10 months. All right, guys, so we will catch you later. Thanks so much for letting me give you a quick uh, whistle-stop tour of the audio system, computer audio system, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot.